Okay guys, we are going to start with the meatballs for this recipe. I have a few things here. But I'm gonna walk you through how I prepare the meatballs. Now I'm gonna make this real easy. I'm gonna put everything in my little uh, mini chopper. And the first thing I'm gonna add is some garlic, lots of garlic. I'm gonna add some onion. I like everything minced real fine so that there's not chunks of it in the meat. We're gonna add in some parsley and we are gonna mince this real fine. Here we go. And then I start the machine and I scrape everything down because I wanna get this as small as I can. Okay, that's gonna do it. Okay, now that I have everything chopped up and as you can see, it's, it's pretty fine and that's what I want. I don't want any big chunks in here. So I'm gonna put this in here. Let's get all of it out of here. I am going to add some bread crumbs. Oh, and by the way, this is um, one pound of ground pork and one pound of hamburger meat, and it's 80-20. I like a little bit of fat in there because it just gives it a much better flavor. And um, we are going to add one egg that I like to break up before I put it in. That's just so you don't have to handle the meat as much. And then... For seasoning, I like to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. I will link the recipe below, guys. Some black pepper, fresh black pepper. Now, if this is, you want to keep it kid-friendly, I normally add red pepper flakes, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm trying to keep it kid-friendly. And then some salt. And we're just going to break it up. I'm going to get in here with my hands because I want everything to be incorporated. And you want to put a lot of flavor in there going in right out the chute so when the meatballs are done they have a lot of flavor. And I like to do these in the oven. You can do them in a skillet. It's up to you. See I'm trying to mix up the, the beef and the pork. So I just kind of squeeze it like this, and there you go. Okay, now we're going to scoop these up and put them on a tray, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, now we're going to scoop these into a tray, and I cook these in the oven in this cookie tray. Now what I like to use, if you don't have one, it's no big deal. Just scoop it out with your fingers, or I have two different sizes here. I like to use a smaller one, but this is personal preference. If you like a bigger meatball, use the bigger one. No big deal. Okay, I just scoop it out like that, and I just line them up on the tray. Try to get them the same size so they can cook the same time. Okay, guys, the meatballs are all ready rolled. I have the oven preheated to 375. I'm going to pop these in there and I did get a total of 30 meatballs and of course that depends on what size you make yours and how many you're going to yield out of the recipe. Okay, I'll be back and we're going to get started on our spaghetti sauce. Okay guys, on to the spaghetti sauce. A very simple sauce, not a big deal. If you wanted to use the jar sauce by all means. Um, but this one is so simple. I like to get some olive oil and the skillet is hot. So I like to put about three or four tablespoons of olive oil and I have some onion, about a quarter of an onion, um, diced very finely. Okay, we're going to give this a little stir and this is going to cook pretty quick. Just till it's translucent. But I'm going to start on my garlic, lower the heat just a little bit. Lots and lots of garlic. I love garlic in my sauce. Okay, I'm going to give this a little mix. As soon as you smell that garlic, which is just going to take about 30 seconds, we're going to add some salt. And then, of course, we're going to adjust the salt as we go. Okay, those onions are ready for the uh, tomatoes that we're going to put in here. I am going to start with the tomato sauce. This is one whole can. I will list the ingredients below, guys, with the sizes and everything. This is a whole can of tomato paste. 
I like to fry up that tomato paste first, bring out those flavors. Okay, this has been frying up for just a minute or so, and I can really smell the flavor. Now I'm going to add my tomato. I have tomato sauce and a can of whole tomatoes. And we're going to add in there. And as you can see, the heat is very hot. And that's kind of what you want. You're going to break up these tomatoes. And start mixing up that tomato sauce and tomato paste. It's going to seem kind of thick, but we're going to loosen it up in a minute. Okay, now we're going to add our Italian seasoning which is a good amount. If you wanted to use fresh, you could. And I will list what's in this uh, seasoning mix for you in case you want to use fresh. Okay, now that we have this simmering real nice, I added some chicken stock to the tomato bowl that I had to get all that tomato out of there. Okay, now we're going to loosen this up just a little bit because we're going to simmer this for about 30 minutes on very low heat. And we're going to add a little bit of sugar to bring out the more sweetness of the tomatoes. See how I just kind of crushed them up a little bit with the spoon? I like a little bit of substance in the sauce. Now I have my sugar here. I'm going to add about a, about a teaspoon of sugar. And that should be good. Okay, I'm going to cover this and let this simmer on very low heat for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to boil the spaghetti noodles and check on our meatballs. Guys, I'm going to turn down the heat all the way, cover this up, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, the water's ready. I think everybody knows how to boil spaghetti. 10 minutes. This is a fi uh, thin spaghetti. I'm going to use thin spaghetti today. I'm going to put this in and we'll be back. Okay guys, spaghetti's ready. We're going to drain it. I put a little tiny bit of oil so that it doesn't stick. Okay guys, that spaghetti sauce is ready. See how it thickens up just enough. Look at that. And this is where you'll taste it and you adjust the salt and if you want to put some more uh, Italian seasoning, wait for your fresh uh, herbs until last so that they don't lose their potency. I'm going to put some basil in here, but I'm going to wait till I serve it on the plate. Okay guys, Okay, guys, the meatballs are ready. I'm just going to, um, they stayed in the oven for 50 minutes. Halfway through, I just give them a turn so they can cook evenly and that's it. I'm going to transfer these over here. And then I'm going to plate this spaghetti and show you how I serve it, how I like to have it. Okay guys, here's everything ready, our spaghetti, our meatballs, our sauce, it's delicious. Okay, I like to plate it up, very simple. You can do it family style if you want to, but I'm just going to go for a single serving dish. Then I put my, have some fresh basil from the garden, it's still very hot. And this sauce, you'll love it. And of course our little meatballs. Look at that. Delicious. Now, I am going to sprinkle, well let's start with the Parmesan cheese. I've got some uh, grated Parmesan cheese, of course everybody adds what they want. I've got a little bit of parsley and I'm going to add a couple of couple of leaves of basil that I'm just going to um, tear with my hand and delicious and there you go look at that guys delicious easy meal you can even make this ahead guys and have everything cooked and ready in the refrigerator and just assemble it the day you're going to have it and the family will love it okay guys 
that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to the channel. The link is right there. And I'm going to have the recipe and all the items that I used uh, down in the description bar if I can find links for them. And uh, go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And don't forget, guys, my Etsy store is still open and I'm still selling masks. And we've had a price reduction, so go and check it out. I will leave the link down below. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you all later. Bye.